Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at the official release of MCP on NA10. So if you don't know NA10, it's a no code automation platform to build AI applications. So you can build multiple workflow automations using your traditional AI and the latest of generative AI based applications on N10. It's open source and have got all the hype lately and of course for all the right regions. Now MCP, we already have a playlist on model context protocol and this is going to be a new video in that playlist where we're going to see how we can use MCP within N10. So there are, there are two ways we can use it. One was through unofficial ways, which was the community nodes. And now N10 has made it official that they support MCP. Right. And that's what we're going to see that how we can leverage MCP on N10. And it's extremely fascinating to even see how they have made it possible with just by, you know, simple configuration. So let's see how we can do it. If you look at here on my screen, I already have a workflow, you know, uh, that has, it says chat message received and an agent An agent has, has been using an LLM called Gemini chat model. We're using Gemini 2.0 flash. And then we have an MCP client. Now this MCP client, and I'm very curious to show you, it triggers an MCP server, right? And now imagine if you want to create that MCP server on N10, that's what I'm gonna show you. So let me go to overview. So if you look at, okay, I can save this. Let me save it and go to overview. Now if you look at my overview, okay, I have two workflows. One is MCP demo workflow and MCP agent. So if I go to MCP demo workflow, you can find out an MCP server trigger. So let me show you how you can add it. So you just come here and search MCP server trigger. You see there's something called expose N10 tools as an MCP server endpoint. So you can expose the tools, which is already there on N10. Like you can see, I'm exposing an open weather map tool and I'm using, I'm exposing a calculator tool. You can expose any N10 tools as an MCP serv server trigger. And when you configure this, this can be invoked via an MCP client or any agent, right? Let's say in, on N10 and that's that's how it happens. But just to make sure that you have uh, these support on N10 because if you are using the old version of N10 not the updated one, uh, you might not see this. So let me show you what you have to do. You have to go to your images if you are running it through Docker, right? And make sure you pull a, you take a new pull. You see this pull over here on my Docker desktop. If you are not using Docker desktop, you want to do it from like, let's say CLI, you can do the same thing. You just have to uh, run the Docker Compose again, right? After uh, uh, Docker Compose again, and it will bring the latest uh, Docker image of N10. And you need this to make sure that you could see MCP uh, server trigger right over here. Otherwise you might not see it. So make sure that you have the latest N10 uh, container running, right? If you are running it, if you're running it through Docker. Now you can see very simple. Uh, once I have MCP server triggered, I have added tools. You can add tools, n number of tools you want. Let me just get rid of this. Now, if you double click this, it will show you this URL, right? You have a test URL, you have a production URL. You need to copy the production URL. So I already have copied it. Let's say you copied this. You can see it says MCP URL copied and you just come back to canvas and make sure you have, have this, this thing active. It will be inactive by default. So this workflow will be inactive. So you have to make it active to make this uh, invoke possible through an MCP client. So let me just go back. And I, here I'm on my agent. You can see we have a chat message received. You know, very simple. Whenever there is a chat message, you can see the chat message is coming from here. Okay, you can ask the question again. We'll see, we can again ask the weather because we are using a open weather map as a tool. We like to ask questions to, related to weather. And then you have an AI agent. And how do you find AI agent? You have to search here. Let's say you search AI agent and you can find out this AI agent. That's what it is. And in AI agent, you connect your model, you connect your tools. Now in this tool, you have to search MCP client. So if you search MCP client tool, you can find it out here, right? Now in this tool, I've connected MCP client. Let me double click, show you. Now once you double click, you have to put the SSC endpoint that you copied from there. So you have copied it from there and I put it over here. In case if it's not working for you, you have to replace this local host 5678 with host.docker.internal. Host.docker.internal. If this does not work for you, make sure that you, you replace that with host.docker.internal, but it should work. 
Now that's what you have to do with MCP client and you have you use any LLM and this agent is now equipped that has an MCP client that can trigger an MCP server that we have saved it in the other workflow, right? Now let's ask whether in Hyderabad, the moment I do it, you can see whether in Hyderabad its MCP client is running. It says the current weather in Hyderabad is scattered clouds, which is current because it's raining right now in Hyderabad with a temperature of 36 degrees Celsius, but it feels like 36. 0.5 degrees Celsius, the wind speed is 1.92, uh, whatever it is, right? So this is how easy it is, guys, right now to invoke an MCP server, trigger an MCP server through an AI agent on N10, and that is an official support. But there is problem, guys. I'll, I'll talk about the problem, but let me show you this MCP client. It has a city called Query, you know, city Query, which is in Hyderabad, and then tool, it's using open weather map. You can see it's, this MCP client is using this tool. It says gets current and future weather information, operation current weather, fantastic, right? Now you can add anything, guys. Now let's say in the tool, you know, you, you also want to write this output to, let's say you are sending it to Telegram, right? You want to send this to Telegram. You know, you can have a Telegram over here that can uh, send a chat, uh, send a message to a chat or something. You can see that, right? Send a chat action or something, send a text message. You can just take this output and put it to Telegram as well. Or you can probably create that within MCP server as well, right? You can also do that if you want to do it. But this is how you can support it. Make sure that you guys, that your N10 is updated. If your N10 is not updated, you might not see this MCP server trigger. So only two things you have to take care. One is that your N10 is up to date. And the other is if this is not working, for you, this SSE endpoint with localhost 5678, where that's where the N10 runs, right, on this port. If that's where not, you're not finding it, make sure you replace this with host.docker.internal because it also depends on how do you have your Docker Compose file, right? This is my Docker Compose file right now. So make sure you have that. If you are facing any issues, let me know in the comment box. Happy to help you uh, debug it if you find any problem. But yeah, really happy to see the MCP support is now officially available on n and that will help us make better no code solutions right uh, let me know if you uh, have any doubts if you have any other comments please uh, comment that in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.